Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Instruxon and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season two, episode two of Agents of Shield called Heavy is the Head. So we start off with Hunter is still alive and May checks on him and gives him advice to get him out. Then May is going after Creel. And then um, Hunter got out just in time to get captured by Talbot. Then we cut to where um, Coulson tells me to back off because um, May had a clear shot at Creel, but she he told her to let him go. Then we cut to where the obelisk has some markings on it, which was similar to what Coulson is drawing, so I have to tell Sky to look up for. And uh, we cut to where Hunter and the Talbot talk, and it's trying to get him this way to his side. It's offering him like a bunch of deals. Then Fitz and Mac talk, and Mac asks for his help, and uh, he kind of freaks out and leaves. And then um, we cut to where um, Hunter and Talbot uh, continue to talk, and he takes the deal. Then Sky confronts Coulson, and he has no answers, <laughs> and she gets really upset by that. Then we cut to where Fitz is taking Creel. Um, uh, DNA results, and then we cut to where Krill accidentally touched the lady and she turned to stone because he started to have issues with the ovulisk itself. Then we cut to where Hunter um, is doing a perimeter breach with a new car, and Hunter and Colson talk, and then Mac and Fitz talk. Then Hunter and Sky talk. <laughs> Basically, um, with Hunter and Colson, he was like, okay, well, um, I want you to take the deal. So he's got something in his mind that he wants to do with Talbot. Then Mac and Fitz talk. Um, um, so Mac is not treating him like he's damaged. He's treating him like a person. Because everyone else knows what Fitz was capable, capable of. And with Mac, he never met him. So he's acting on what he is now and trying to help him that way. So he's being a little bit more helpful than everyone else is. Because everyone thinks this is like, you know, Fitz, you know, they know he has like this very high intellect and he just can't do it now just because of the injury and his brain is still like, he's still recovering from it and I like how the guy that plays him is doing that as well. So, he's doing a great job because when he was like, oh, I got brain injury, then like, like an episode later, oh, I'm fine now. They're really progressing this and not making like a, oh. I have this thing. Oh, I'm done now. And then we cut to our Hunter and Sky talk, and um, Sky's like, you was like, you know, I guess <laughs> Hunter's not used to like uh, Sky being sassy to Coulson or trying to dig deeper, and he's like, you should dig, dig deeper. And then we cut to where um, Creel can't control the power, and so Hydra contacted him, and for a second, drop sight. Then Raina talks them and um, basically tells her to scram, but gives them a um, gives him like this really rare metal, and that um, that's a tracker in it. And so she calls Coulson and lets him know and tips him off. Then um, then we cut to where Fitz is passing out. Then Mac gets through to him and found something. So they want to use the. Fitz found a way to get rid, or I guess neutralize Creole's powers, and that's to literally use that, um, that frequency cannon that they got in Season 1 and use it on Creole, like, as, to, and when he made some modifications to it, because he said, I didn't solve this today, which means, um, that he did solve it before. So, um, he's using ways to trying to help the team, and it's starting to come together a little bit more. And because, like, he was really peeved off about um, them taking the uh, cloaking technology stuff because he was, like, almost cracked. He almost cracked it and got it working. But anyway, I forgot to mention that in the last episode. <laughs> then we cut to where Hunter, um, so the team are on the ground, and but Hunter knocked Sky and May out. And um, then we cut to where Kirill got brainwashed to reset his powers and to make him more uh, controllable, and that controlled his powers. Then um, Hunter goes after him, and that didn't work good, so Creole goes after him. Then Reyna took the awful, awful, she took the, oh wait, four. 
And then uh, Coulson uh, neutralized Creel thanks to the device. Then um, we cut to where Harley's funeral because that was part of the deal that um, Hydra made with Talbot. Then we cut to where Creel wants um, to get Hunter, uh, oh, Coulson, sorry. Coulson wants to get Hunter on the team and he agrees. And then we cut to where Fitz and Mac get along better. Then Sky voices her concerns to May and she f fusses him out. <laughs> and then um, tells him to, uh, so then May tells him to carve. And so he does while May is taking pictures. So we first thought, well, I first thought when I first saw this, that when Nicholson started doing that, he was keeping that secret, but he would that be known to May and she's once been taking pictures and giving the pictures to Sky to check. Then we cut to where, um, let's see. <laughs> then we cut to where Raina gives the device to Sky's dad and tells her to pick it up and it reacts differently to her. It doesn't turn her to stone. It turns like an orangey color, like, like she's like, one of the chosen people, I guess, to let it live. And then we cut to where Coulson and Talbot talk and offers deal. He says no and shows the chats in the, and leaves. <laughs> and I get out of A plus, especially at the end. He's like, let's see, where's your um, buddy Hunter that read a US? Like, oh, I think he's watching Cake Boss or something. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Talbot kind of slams like his team's like, I heard you don't have enough manpower to operate Harley a Quinjet. And so he shows the Quinjet in the bus and as he's leaving, uh, he's like, let's get out of here before they run out of fuel. <laughs> it's cost me money. And, um, that, and I really enjoyed that. I like how it has its comedy, it has its com, it has its moments of comedy. I cannot talk today, I'm tired. Anyway, really good episode. I enjoyed the fight scenes. I like the story that's going on a lot. Um, but it's weird seeing Coulson being so um, compartmentalized with a bunch of tasks and not being like he was in season one. He's more reserved and um, holding his stuff close to the vest and not letting a lot of people in. But overall, I really enjoyed the episode. So that's going to do it for this video. So if this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.